Praise the Lord, precious saints, and welcome to another daily prophetic utterance to start your day. And as you can see today, I'm coming all the way from Zambia at the Victoria Falls, as you can see behind me. But I want to give you an illustration today, as you can see this bridge that crosses over this gorge, that crosses over this cliff, over to the other side. And that is what Jesus Christ does for us because God is infinite and man is finite, meaning we need God to stand in the gap on behalf of us. The Bible says, according to 1 Timothy 2 verse 5, it says, you know that God is one and that there is a mediator, Jesus Christ, who stands in the gap on behalf of you and me. Jesus Christ became a sacrifice on the cross so that we could be bridged back to the Father, back to our relationship with God. Wherever you are today, know that Jesus is the way, He is the truth, He is the life. If you are looking for a better way, if you are looking for a better truth in life, and circumstances. You're looking for life itself. Jesus Christ became all things and God is infinite. We are finite, but we need God. We need Jesus Christ to cover us. I believe God is about to send revival. I believe that he's about to come and snatch away his bride of Christ very shortly, but he is talking to us today. He is giving us this illustration of this bridge today. Come back to Jesus. He has good plans for your life. He wants to do something with your life. He is not finished with you yet. Jesus Christ, He is the way, the truth, and the life. You don't need any other. He is all that we need. He is more than sufficient. He is the answer to your life, to my life, and also to others' life. Come to Jesus today. He is there. He has made a way of escape. He has made a bridge. He has bridged the gap, and He is doing something great in your life today. So Heavenly Father, I pray for each person today, Lord, that you would touch them, Lord, that you would heal them, Lord, that you would deliver them, and you will draw them back unto you. There is somebody today that needs to come back to Jesus Christ. You know your life is not pleasing to the Lord right now. I want you to repeat this prayer after me. Say, Heavenly Father, today I repent of all of my sins. I come back to you, Father. Forgive me, Father, for all the sins, knowingly and unknowingly. And today, the blood of your Son, Jesus Christ, washes me. I receive Jesus Christ into my heart as my Lord and God and personal Savior. And from today, it's a new beginning. I've been born again. Somebody say hallelujah. If you just prayed that prayer right now, you have now given your heart back to Jesus Christ. The blood of Jesus covers you. And the Bible says if we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive you and to cleanse you from all unrighteousness. He has good plans for you. It is time for us to press in. It's time for us to believe that God is about to move upon the earth. So from all the way from Victoria Falls in the Zambia side, may the Lord bless you and cover you as we prepare for the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. Shalom, shalom, shalom.